Hey VC, it's Mazzy, and um, good morning. I'm starting out with a um, cappuccino from Grafeo Coffee, which is was from San Francisco, was one of the oldest uh, roasteries in San Francisco in America from an Italian dark roast, espresso roast beans. They only made a dark and light, and I used to be addicted to this stuff uh, from probably the early 70s on, and I don't get it much anymore. My buddy Coleman gave me a bag of Grafeo roast, and um, I love a dark roast bean. I'm a little snooty about coffee, and I'm tired of all these fucking boutique um, baristas who, if you mention, if you ask if they have a dark roast, say, well, dark roast, now we only have light medium roast because dark roast um, burns the beans, they're too oily. Fuck those. Anyway. Anyway, so cheers. Tone Poet. Tone Poet series out of Blue Note. Uh, new audio file series from Blue Note. They're releasing two titles a month, at least through into the middle of next year. And it's a parallel series with Blue Note 80. Blue Note 80 is, uh, those sell, they're putting three of those a month out, and those sell for about um, $23, $24, where the uh, Tone Poets sell for about $30 to $35. Your mileage may vary. Um, anyway, you listen to Chick Corea, one of the great, great trio albums. Roy Haynes, Miroslav Vitas, and uh, Chick Corea. Great sounding album. The Tone Poet, they have great glossy heavyweight covers. Most of them, not all of them, but most of them are gatefolds. But again, there's two out a month. I have the first four. And I think, unless uh, something you know changes, I might get them all. Because I was talking to a buddy of mine. Let me turn this down here. Turn the old Rotel amp down. You know, I'm kind of tired of buying these used records, again, I'm gonna continue buying used records, you know that, but you buy 10 used records and three or four of them are fucked up. Uh, they're crackly, they smell like a dead rat died in your wall, and you open them up, they give you a hell, a headache because they're all mildew, musty, and, and it contaminates your entire collection with mildew and grotty things. But you know, I'm thinking of investing a little more money and you know, buying some good friggin' records. Uh, Tone Poet, uh, Joe Harley is the sort of the, I don't wanna say mastermind, but he's the one coordinating these. And what's great about him with these and the Blue Note 80, they're all cut by Kevin Gray, but Joe Harley is one of the partners in Music Matters. And if you know Music Matters, uh, they do pretty much all Blue Note reissues. Amazing, again, covers and jackets like these. And, um, but those go for, 60 to 75 dollars you know depending uh on the um the title and one thing i don't like about them but uh you know i guess it's the way it is these days they pretty much only sell direct so as a stock dwindles in certain titles prices go up quite a bit um so you know it's kind of like the stock market of record buying but anyway i'm just showing these four chick Corea, great record now he sings, now he sobs. Then the great uh, Contours by Sam Rivers, and this has Joe Chambers, Ron Carter, Kirby Hancock, and uh, Freddie Hubbard. And again, a beautiful gatefold. Real boppy record in a good way. Great series. Again, you know, maybe buy fewer. Maybe I'll buy fewer records and pay a little more per record. Yeah, that's gonna happen. We'll see how that works. Mazzy. Uh, another great one, Wayne Shorter. Uh, you know, Wayne, great sax player, part of uh, Miles Davis's uh, second famous quintet that consisted of Herbie Hancock and Ron Carter and um, Wayne Shorter. Oh, it is Wayne Shorter. And um, uh, Herbie Hancock, uh, oh, Ron Carter on bass. But this has Cecil McBee on bass, Joe Chambers on drums, Herbie Hancock on piano, and then Wayne Short, of course, and a great saxophone, but etc. 
Another beautiful gate sleeve, gatefold sleeve. Beautiful, you know? Fewer. Quality. Let's let's kind of get back to quality over quantity. Everything is everybody wants it's a race to the bottom. Everybody wants the cheapest possible. You know, I go on the Hoffman forums and people are fucking screaming about I oh I you know they they pre-order something and they change their order three or four times because they save a fucking two dollars and you know here and there. Now I don't want to sound snooty, saving two dollars is great, but at some point you know, buy a place that you feel comfortable with. And, you know, in, in a perfect world, I'd buy all local. You know, if my local had it. Luckily, I'm in, a, I'm in Seattle. I'm in a great music town. There's about 15 record stores here. So I have, you know, a lot of choices. Still, I buy things from Amazon and some of the other, um, uh, you know, more of a high-end uh, record and audio places. Like one of my favorites is Music Direct. And that parent company, uh, also owns um, MoFi these days and stuff. But, you know, like this weekend, holiday weekends, they'll have a 15 to 20% off sale. So it just depends. They pack well. It's a whole other conversation we can get into. And I'm not dissing um, people going to swap meets or any of you. I know a number of you are big sellers too and buy and sell and stuff. But don't you get tired of that musty... I mean, every record fucking swap meet should have those like machines they have in hospitals where that kind of, you know, dry soap stuff that you wash your hands. Anyway, lastly, Gil Evans. Um, new bottle of wine, Gil Evans orchestration. His, or his orchestrations are amazing. You might know him uh, from uh, working with Miles a number of years on and off, uh, especially around Sketches of Spain. Uh, a lot of other... Uh, artists he's worked with. You know what I like? He did a score, the film Absolute Beginners, which is uh, came out in the late 80s. You probably know it because there's a couple Bowie songs on there. Gil Evans did the score to that, did a lot of the arrangements. Ray Davis from the Kinks has a song, Chardet is on there. But it's a great, great soundtrack that Gil Evans um, composed and, and scored uh, most of it. But there's Style, Style Council is on it as well. It's a great, great soundtrack. So I don't think it's very expensive. You can find that used and musty. You know, there's probably you're gonna open it up. There's gonna be a rat in it. But anyway, um, that's pretty much my um, my morning with you. Uh, Tone Poet series. I highly suggest. I think I'm gonna get them all, and I think I'm gonna go for the uh, Blue Note 80s. In fact, but I'm, um, I'll just show you real quickly. The first two Blue Note 80s are these. The first Herbie Hancock record, Thinner Covers and Dexter Gordon. Um, and what this series is, every month there's a theme. So the two of these are based on first albums. These are the first Blue Note albums by both these artists. And uh, obviously you know Watermelon Man, you know, hip hop remixed versions of that made it famous to, for non-jazz fans in the, what was it, the 90s, late 80s? No, probably the 90s, right? Um, but this is great. Dexter Gordon, Herbie Hancock, Butch Warren, Billy Higgins, Freddie Hubbard. And this has uh, Dexter Gordon, Horace Parlin, George Tucker, and Al Harewood, Harwood. Um, these are great, again, 24 bucks about, sometimes a little less. Coming out three different ones a month or so. And I suggest at least get these. Kevin Gray cut, analog. This sounds fucking amazing. Anyway, Mazzy loves you. Mazzy loves jazz. Mazzy loves dark roast coffee beans. And I'm tired of those snooty little young fucking pink-eyed punks with little goat tees and hipster glasses and hats um, telling me how I should drink my fucking coffee. Anyway, Mazzy loves you. Mazzy out. Thanks, VC.